I've been asked to do another review because, well, that's what I do. I do printing reviews, apparently, and Star Trek stuff. Hey, my friends in Concord sent me another printer. Um, this time we have the Creality Halot Sky. Greetings, Dave here, DCPFX. Well, that feels weird doing it the other hand. Huh. Um, I want to talk about the Creality Halot Sky. Um, let me hop into my unboxing. Here, I just got this delivered by Canada Post today. Now there's one problem. And well, here's the problem I'm having. One printer, two printer. I'm running out of room. Okay, I think I found some space. Now, I you probably saw the last little clip there and say, well, there's a spot right next to it. Well, doing printers isn't my job. My job is fixing Macs. I got a lot I'm working on. But this looks like a cool printer, so I think that ought to be enough space. So I'm going to unbox it and get set up and see what's going on. Yeah. Some of the other printer reviews I've done or set up or else, it's uh, been a process, you know, put this on here, put that on there. This is resin. Do you know how hard this is to set up? Basically, these go in here. There's some metal pieces that go on the other side. You put in four screws. Done. So I'll do that right now. Okay, I know this has nothing to do with the printer, but this is fun. With the Mono and the Mono SC, you could hear the little bit of pull on the FEP. You can see that, thump, whole thing moves. So definitely it, something's happening. I won't know for a while. They still haven't come up with, or at least this company hasn't come up with a decent, clear tray. So you can see through it, see where the first couple layers are going. Let's see what ends up after an hour or so. So that is this machine. Now this is a pre-release machine. So let me do out until sometime in July. And that's the rub. Before I get to that though, this is a test print. Look at that thing. How beautiful that is. That is with the nice um, translucent green. Uh, and that's just beautiful. That shows off the capabilities of this printer. And this took about six hours, but it's a big print. And uh, it's really, it's, it's quite something. But here's the problem I have. And that isn't really a problem. This is like bleeding edge, as in it's, it's just coming out. It hasn't come out yet. The problem I have is, is I can print this and a hollow cup. That's all that's on the, the drive. Also what's on the drive is a beta copy of software for Windows. I'm a Mac guy. Um, I don't have any PCs. Well, I have my Surface. I guess I can try that. Um, I don't have anything. And they say on the website, hey, it's Windows, Mac, Linux. So I contacted my guys at Mac Solutions who supplied this. Hey, Mac Solutions. And they talked to Crowley. And Crowley said, yeah, we're, we've got an alpha of the, uh, the version 2.0 for Windows. What about Mac? No, no. So it's coming eventually. The problem is, is the file format with this is uh, CXDLP. That's what you need to have in here for this to see it. And I tried Leechy, Chitabox, Prusa, a Slicer. They all don't output that. So it's a waiting game. So what I want to leave with you right now is this video is this is a entry level look or a first look at this device. This is fantastic. This is because, as I said in my previous video, like, you know, the uh, the mono is this, this is that, and then that. The size, I can put it at the top of it. Uh, my mono goes, no, you have to turn it this way and do this. Just fits, done. Uh, I've got a few friends say, hey, print this. I can't. Um, I will get my Surface out and I will try and see if I can run it on that. Now, granted, the Surface is an underpowered computer. It's a great tablet, but not a great PC. I'll try. I'm not about to take one of my kids' PCs because they use them for school. Yes, my kids use PCs. I'm a Mac guy. 
First impressions of this, this is a great printer. It's quiet, uh, well, quietish, as you saw in the video. Uh, it does a really good job, and like they say, the bed is huge, and it's it's nice, you know. Uh, one small caveat, I did notice it came out of the box for some small cracks in the plastic, just at the hinge, probably just the way it was shipped. Canada Post is never the nicest in shipping things because they're Canada Post. We're a government agency, we don't care. <sighs> another story for another time. So all in all, this is a fantastic printer. Once I'm able to actually throw my stuff at it, I'll show you more. So let's leave this video at this point as a first look at this printer and what I've seen it can do with the provided files. Fantastic. It is coming out in July. I'm not sure what the Canadian price point is. I think I heard it's going to like $9.89, something like that US. I don't know what the full price point is going to be, but I do know my friends at Mac Solutions are going to carry it. So, well, at least I hope they're going to. They sent me this to review. So there's that. So stay tuned, there'll be more information, there'll be more uh, videos on this as I get more information from it. Uh, if I have to run a PC to do it, I will bite my tongue and I will do that and we'll see what I can do by getting some of my files on here because you know me, I like to print comms. And maybe a oscillation over thruster and maybe a tricorder and pad. And lots of things I can try. I just need to get it working. So that's it for today. Hope everyone's having a great day. We'll talk to you all.